Hey everybody, welcome back to our next daily Slay the Spire. We are into the defect run. Um, we're going to do our boss swap relic, which I think is the hardest boss swap relic, just because the defect relic is so freaking good. But we're going to do it anyways, because we can. So what do we get? Pachow! A calling bed bell. Interesting. Calling bell, we get this uh, curse in our deck that we can never remove. And of course, we get three random relics. Bag of prep, very good. Uh, not a very good Darkstone Parapet. It doesn't, it's not retroactive, otherwise it'd be really good, because we just got a curse. And then a Felix. Helix is good too. Helix is really good. Um, all right, I turned on color maps. Look, we're colored. Now we can see where fights are, and we can see where everything else is. It's kind of weird looking. I don't know if I love it. Uh, but, you know, we'll figure it out. Um, I wonder if there's a way to customize it. So let's look for what we're going to do here. We want a couple elites, this combat. There's three on that side. Um, card rewards are good. I guess we go this way. Uh, maybe this way. There's three card rewards here. A couple campfires. Let's go question mark route. And if uh, things go poorly, then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll nope out. Um, I went ahead and took this hit since we have fossilized helix. Feel, felt, like, felt like a good thing to do. This, this bell is going to kind of mess us up a bit. Z curse. As long as we get a strike here, we should get a kill. Yep. Good enough. All right, but we don't heal, so that's something that's going to be interesting. Uh, headbutt, armaments, rage. Uh, a little bit of damage will take headbutt. Oh boy. Hey, first try. Look at that. We got a mob bank on the first try. First try. I like seeing that. Um, uh, max HP or heal 25. We can only heal 12, so that's kind of a uh, reduction in usage. We could take a curse and get 6 max HP. That doesn't seem really good, though. So I'll just take the 5 HP and call it good. All right, louses. Uh, let's see, louses. We're gonna hit us once, and we will absorb it with our helix. Pachow. Louses are trying to attack us again. Uh, we can take back. Luckily, we get full block. Yeah, this helix is gonna help out early game. It's gonna help out the entire game. Let's be honest. But specifically, it's gonna help out a lot early game. All right, thunderclap, scene, red armaments. Um, an armaments upgrade is interesting. Thunderclap is interesting. Scene red is, again, interesting. Uh, I want a little more damage to start, so let's take thunderclap. Uh, ten block is fine, I guess. We do get weakened here. That's okay. Um, that's only four. Take our full block again. I'm assuming he's gonna not attack this round so we can get our bash down. Good job. And a couple strikes. Immolate, happy to take an Immolate here. Immolate, really good area damage. I'd really like to upgrade it, but um, I can't, so I won't. So I'll go here. All right, um, let's kill this guy as quick as we can. And I think that's going to involve immolating his face. Uh, I wonder if Flex Pot did more there. I'm going to Flex Pot here. Or do I wait till next turn? Next turn, I'm going to draw a headbutt plus a couple other things. I guess I'll wait a turn. We'll see if we can get a kill of flex pot here. If not, we're gonna take some damage. Ugh, that's not what we wanted at all. All right, I don't know if this does anything. Let's see, if it goes up to 34. Okay, we save one HP as long as we get a kill this turn. And we do get a kill this turn without even using our flex pot. Okay, not terrible. Calipers is good, smoke bomb is not. Feel no pain, excellent card for us. Uh, here we're gonna upgrade our emulate to do real damage against Act 1 Elite specifically, or Act 1 Fight specifically. Like, Emily here just kills everybody. <laughs> Fortunately, we didn't draw it. 
Um, this isn't the best. We do get mostly block. I did not mean to do that, by the way. I meant to only block twice. Oh, I guess we get full block with our helix, right? Come on. Card draw is always a thing. Upper cup, second wind. Uh, second one with feel no pain seems good. I'll take that. And where are we going here? We're going this way or this way? I'd rather have the extra campfire, so I'll take the left route. Hourglass deals three damage to everybody every turn. Upgrade a card, transform a card, remove a card. Um, let's remove the strike. Emulate turn one, please. Thank you. Doesn't that make a fights really easy? Entropic Brew. Put that in there. Spot weakness for some strength. Happy to take that. And we're into number two here. We got this guy. Okay, okay, okay. Um, Wait for this to go around. Mercury Hourglass is kind of screwing me up a little bit. Uh, we'll go ahead and start with. We'll open with an emulate. That'd be fun. Looking for our second wind here. We did not get it. We do get to spot weakness slash bash. We take twenty. Yikes. Um. Uh, actually, let's just defend. No, wait. Do we still we still have our buffer, right? Yeah, we still got our buffer. Cool. So we'll take this uh, buffer hit. Pitchy out. And then we can emulate. Uh... Yeah, that's worth the pot, I think. We got a bag of marbles, an elixir, and I guess a true grit, which we need to upgrade probably right here. Yeah, we could upgrade our true grit. True grit's fine, but upgraded you get to target the card you want, so much better. Man, I was hoping for. <laughs> All I needed was uh, uh, to. F I wanted to fight the stupid guys. What are they called? You know, stupid guys. Um, okay, so we're gonna feel no pain. We can spot weakness and headbutt back the spot weakness. Uh, we have feel no pain, so um, we could always get rid of a few cards here if we need to. Um, this would, this is our buffer charge, I guess. Can we kill here? No, not even close. So let's do this. This gives us a little bit of block. And we get a kill. I guess I didn't need to use that. <laughs> All right, anchor I'm happy to see, and a pommel strike I'm happy to see. So we got 41 uh, hit points going into the, what do you call it? Um, slime boss. Only upgrade, bash is fine, spot weakness is good, second wind is good. Feel no pain is excellent. What do we think? What's a good upgrade here? Um, I guess. And pommel strike is two cards. Um. Yeah. Hmm. Let's do. Let's do. Thunderclap. I wish this gave vulnerable too. <laughs> Be so much better. Uh, let's just take. Thank you. Nah, spot weakness. Sometimes we can't use. We can always use Pommel Strike. So, probably gonna be open up my little pot here and see what we can find because that's what we do. Pajuju. All right, not too bad. We got something there. We have to remember this fight. We do have. Um, what do you call it? We got the. Well, we we could we could take a hit because 
of our helix. We can also we can also have invalid against the um, against the masses once they come come a crawling. So we gotta be careful. We automatically proc this turn. Uh, yeah. Okay, this is actually really good. I get to flex pot here. Do I even need to? Let's see. This brings him to nine. That's uh, twenty nine. Twenty five, which brings them down to twenty five, brings us down to what fifty two, and then we can bring back our emulate. Um, which kills both of them. I think we should be fine. I don't think we need to here. So, first of all, we pommel strike. That'll draw those two. Uh, actually, I think I want to spot weak. No, he's not attacking anymore. <laughs> now we want to headbutt back, immolate, and we'll get a strike on. All right, so immolate. Uh, ooh, that's what I was saying. If we could have a thunder clap, thunder clap here, would be even better. So yeah, but that's yeah, really good. So uh, they just both die. They all die at the beginning of the next turn without me doing anything. Pachow! Uh, yeah, that was an easy fight. 76 gold and a corruption? Corruption feel no pain is a thing. Yeah. It's a good start for our skill list, huh? Take a corruption. And Sneckle Eye Tiny House Coffee Dripper. Um, it's a not a very good Sneckle. It's not a very bad Sneckle, but it's not a very good Sneckle. Um, like, Corruption's good, Immolate, Bash, and the rest are just evens. I mean, what else am I going to take? Coffee Dripper, so I can't heal anymore? I need to heal on Ironclad, so I guess we're Sneckoing. I don't love Sneckoing, honestly. I, I think it's more RNG than, than you want to give it. But that's okay. We draw two extra cards, and we start Combat Confused. Uh, what should we do here? We got, pretty, we got a pretty good... Act two deck, I think so far. Um, I'd like a little more card draw. There's elites up here, so we want to go here, so that we can then choose if we want the burning elite or double elite or zero elites or whatever. So we'll go this way. All right, how are we looking here? Um, Feel no pain, second wind, and then we don't get an attack down. I think I'm using my energy pot here. Uh, do I need the second wind actually? Let's see, we do 10 damage, 19 block. Oh, plus we already have 10, well, that's fine, right? Oh man, I shouldn't have taken the one. I forgot I have because one di two damage here for uh, our fossilized helix kind of sucks. But maybe we'll draw emulate and it won't matter anymore. And we got corruption, sweet. Um, corruption, spot weakness, and then the uh, feel no pain gives us good stuff. Feel no pain again. That's a full block. Nothing to set up here, so we'll just strike. All right, not a bad fight. We get our money back and entrench. How do I feel about entrench? Kind of like entrench. Take entrench. Uh, eventually, through a series of tombs, you are faced with a large sarcophagus stud with gems in the center of a circular room. You cannot make out the writhing fog. However, you notice some black fog seeping in from its sides. We can open the coffin, and we become writhe. Uh, we do get six hit points. Woohoo! Um, but it does make our opening hand a little bit worse. We can remove it at a shop. We kind of want to remove strikes. I'm going to say no. I don't know what type of relic it gives. Like I said, uncommon, common, it could be anything. Today is the day I must settle the score with the murder of my beloved pet noodles. Until then, you may not pass, fellow witness. Why not bet on who you think will emerge victorious? We can bet on the murderer, 70% uh, chance to win 100 gold. We can bet on the owner. 
a 30% chance to win 250 gold. Yes, let's do it. Good luck, owner. Good luck, noodles. Give me a strength, noodles. Charge, clash, pow. The owner died. I lost the bet. <laughs> All right. Thunderclap emulate? Does that just kill them? No. But it's close. And then our uh, our paper clipper thingy does damage here, and then we just win. Yeah, emulate's a good card. Uh, for a while. Eventually it becomes not that good anymore. Okay, keeping the fact we're playing Corruption a lot, is there any of these cards we want? No. Yay, another fight. Alright, early Corruption is usually okay. We can second win to get some strength. We already have 10 block. Uh, let's go ahead and Corruption. Defend headbutt back, nothing, whatever I headbutted back. Uh, spot weakness. I do not have, what do you call it yet? I don't have feel no pain down. So this is at most 10 block. So we might also just use our feel helix. All right, pommel strike you. Defend. That's a lot of damage. Or I could headbutt back something. What could I headbutt back? Pommel strike? Yeah, we have plenty of block. Um, I can't play feel no pain, but that's okay. We can get rid of that. And I don't think I need to entrench yet. Uh, really good draws there. A power through. I'm happy to see a power through. Flame barrier is good too, but power through is power through. Turn one. No, we did not get a turn one uh, immolate, which we kind of needed. Mm, that's okay. We'll figure it out. Feel the pain is expensive, but we do get a full block here. So we do want this down if we can. I don't really want my defend back. Shoot, I shouldn't have played that. <laughs> um, this is at the beginning of the turn, right? Yeah. Corruption's not yet down. Um, I'm gonna assume I'm going to play. No, no, no. Let's just let's just kill him just in case. Although it makes us draw defend, which kind of sucks. He's doing 33 to us. Uh, we get to free that and we get to do this, which is kind of good. But then we take a lot of damage. No matter what I'm taking, look at this, look at this Sneko. This is where the Sneko gives and receives. Three, 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 three. Uh, wow, thanks Sneko. I don't even have any potions that can bail me out. I just take 22 points of damage. There's Corruption. Um, comes at the worst time. I need to draw my destroy people again. We did not draw our destroy people. In fact, this is all really, really bad. Um, uh, yikes. We take one point of damage here. This deck definitely needs card draw. And I didn't even draw my emulate again, which I really kind of needed here. Hmm. Okay. Well, in that case, I think I just uh, bash you. Strike you. And second win for a little bit of block. Uh, actually, does this affect this? Yeah, it does. Okay. I think it was 29 block, and then we can headbutt. Getting back pommel strike. Take a little bit more. And then we can get our emulate down. Headbutt back at emulate. I think it still costs zero. 
Nope, it did not cost zero. In case you're curious. All right, we took a lot more damage than we wanted to. We get a smiling mask and a burning pact. Happy to see a burning pact. We need to rest here, unfortunately. That's too bad. Early corruption makes me happy. Feel no pain makes me happy. Um, we get a good block here at least. Okay, so defend. We actually have calipers too, but we'd have to get more than 36 block here for that to matter. So I don't think we're gonna worry about that. We're at, oh, we need a little bit more block, don't we? That's okay. Uh, this might be okay now, actually. Yeah, now we actually get to caliper some for next round. Caliper, what's 18? 38, then we get to immolate. Let's bash immolate. Uh, I'd like to draw. I could try to exhaust my calling bell. It doesn't work, but that's okay. Um, sure. Power through, defend, defend. Gives us a lot of block. Uh, with calipers, that helps a bit. All right, spot weakness. And a couple strikes should do it, right? Eh, not quite. All right, there's a bash, Emily. Good job, us. We got a gambler's brew and a battle trance. Happy to see the battle trance. We needed some card drop. Now, we're not fight. I guess we're not fighting the burning elite yet. We're not ready for him. So we'll go and take this getting a strawberry a little more HP I'm probably gonna beeline for this uh, shop being that we have 679 gold uh, it gives us a free upgrade too so let's see how we do here Ooh, book of stabbing of course um, thinking about throwing this all away uh, I'm gonna play the defend for a full block and then I'm going to throw all this away. I'm going to hope for better. That wasn't any better. My god. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. Sneko, you're screwing me over here. Sneko helped out a little. Okay, let's see what his stats are at. I guess it's pretty good, right? Average. Well, the average discount is 0.3. Alright, so corruption. I don't have any draw. And I have no block. Oh my god, I have no block. Why could you be doing your big attack this turn? Bash, immolate, strike. I wish this was a big attack. We'd save all our hit points. Uh, immolate, defend, defend, true grit that. And I guess we just want to get that down. So next, tur next turn he's vulnerable again. Spot weakness is always good. Power through is always good. Burning packed. Okay, we got good block here. That's good. Um, defend, entrench, second wind, headbutt back, immolate. All right, we took one big hit, unfortunately. But other than that, I think we win, right? Yeah. Not bad. Akabeko is happy to see it. Good, happy to see shrug it off. It's really good. Do we want to remove all our strikes, all our bites, or do we want to remove all our strikes for bites? Bites are fun. Navigate an unlit street, you come across several hooded figures in the midst of some dark ritual. As you approach, they turn you an eerie unison. The tallest among them bears fang teeth and extends a long, pale head towards you. Join us, brother, and feel the warmth of the spire. Um, remove four of our strikes that each do six damage. We get bites that do seven damage and heal us for two hit points. Uh, but we lose 27 max hit points, so we go down to 60 hit points max. Might not be bad, though, because healing is good, right? Uh, since we can't heal based on our starting relic, uh, let's do it. We get one extra card, which I'm not happy about, but, you know, whatever. We get to remove a card here. We get a ooh, we get a bunch of good stuff. So we got 747 gold. I wish I would have saw a membership card here, but I did not. 
I'm going to remove a card to start, and it's probably going to be a bite. Um, as much as I like bites, I don't really need a lot of them. It's either bite or defend. No, I, I want skills in my hand. Um, and I don't want all my bites. So I think I'll just get rid of one bite here. Or it could be Thunderclap. Um, I'm never really happy to see Thunderclap when I draw it. I guess sometimes it has these. We'll get rid of one bite. I want a pen nib. I'm happy with that. I want a shrug. I'm happy with that. Uh, do I want to upgrade two skills? My skills are four defends, a spot weakness, a second wind, power through, Bernie Pact, battle trance, two shrug. Yeah, that's probably worth it. Second wind and spot weakness. Excellent upgrades. Um, I don't need Chemex. And I think I'm just going to leave the rest of this on the table as well. Uh, discovery, actually. Maybe I should have bought Discovery first. I like Discovery. Um, I should have brought Discovery first, and then I could have saw about upgrading it. We don't need to defend. We don't need to heal anymore. We can look at upgrades. Uh, discovery is a fun upgrade. It doesn't exhaust, but then it uh, gives you a free skill, and it keeps coming back. Feel No Pain is a good upgrade. A Corruption is a good upgrade. Entrench is a good upgrade. Although, Entrench... Once I uh, play Corruption, and I usually play Trench after Corruption, it's not as good. Let's upgrade the Corruption for now. Next one should probably be Discovery, I'm assuming. Thwack! Groggy with a throbbing head, you awaken to find yourself thrown in the center of a massive stadium with overflowing audience of slavers, cultists, and other denizens of the city. An armored giant with a golden crown bellows at you from the top. We now begin the 420, 40, 20, 42nd, 100th, 42nd, 100th combat. A gate on the opposite side opens. Fight! We fight two slavers. Um, We're so close. To a win here. Never mind. We won. Well done, weakling. A giant mock claps. Well, he riles up the crowd with exaggerated gestures. Golden confetti shower you. Time for the real challenge. The last battle left a small opening in the Colosseum's wall. You can easily escape through there while everyone is distracted. Do you stay and fight? Or do we fight a powerful enemy with many rewards? Uh, this may be the end of us, but we're going to do it. Be and we're going to hope for a good Sneko. Come on, Sneko. Okay, see Sneko? You have zero and one cost are ten below your two and three costs. So it's time for uh, a good Sneko run. So this is always uh, Red Slaver or Taskmaster and this guy who, you know, kicks my ass every time. Uh, we did not get a good start. Thank you for not giving me a very good start. Sneko, you suck balls. Um... At least we don't use our, what do you call it, this turn. We don't use, he's only attacking us for seven. He just does put wounds in our hand, but that's okay. Uh, I guess I'll just discover and hope for something amazing. This is definitely not amazing. Uh, do I want to do this, though? I think I do. I think it's a good flex pot turn. I mean, it's better than nothing, right? And it does a lot of damage, since he's already vulnerable. We get three wounds. He's going to attack us for eight. Uh, we get corruption down, which I'm happy to have down. Spot weakness. Uh, I should have feel no pain first. That was stupid. Um, not quite enough for a kill here. Uh, we do get to block this, so this is the one that we get to... Uh, Helix, which is good. All right, not bad. Not bad at all. Um, wow, this is actually really good. Uh, yeah, this is really, really good. <laughs> I'm going to see how big I can make this guy before I kill him. Um, battle Trance to draw. Look how mad he's getting. We drew all these wounds. <laughs> it's actually good to draw them out of the hand. I wish I would have got second win with them. Uh, to really get rid of them, but that's okay. Then we get to Entrench. Um, giving us 69 block. He's hitting for 55. Oh, no. Uh, what are we going to do? Hey, I got an idea. Let's uh, Im immolate. And then bite, getting back some hit points. Are we going to heal this fight? 
This is like one of the. This is a really hard event. Are we gonna heal on this event? I think we are. Oh yeah, we're healing on this event. We healed four on this event, <laughs> and we get a stone calendar. Not happy to see a stone calendar, but it's fine. A horn cleat's great. Turn two, we get fourteen block. We're now two parts of a boat. Hundred gold and uh, body slam for that time when we have huge block. Sure. Uh, we have two boat pieces. We have the anchor and we have the horn cleat. So turn one and two, we're pretty good. We're pretty covered with block. Uh, 10 block and then 14 block. And we also have our helix, so not too bad. What are we doing here? Uh, upgrade entrench, no. Upgrade power through, upgrade discovery. Let's upgrade discovery. All right, we're fighting the uh, bronze automaton. Everybody loves themselves a good bronze automaton. Uh, I wish I would have drawn this next turn though. Hmm. So I gotta think a little carefully about what I'm doing here. Uh, if I cast corruption too early, I don't have any draw. I wish I had a. Uh, I wish I had a draw card. Like I don't want corruption down without feel no pain. This is this is a terrible draw. I just I think I just feel no pain immolate, and then this turn this guy is going to take our corruption. Uh, we do get mostly full block, not quite, but I guess we could headbutt back the immolate. Hmm. Too bad palmal strike cost cost thirteen, huh? So let's bash you. It's free. I can headbutt you. Oh man, that was my. I gotta keep track of pen nib. We can burning pack the ascender's bane, and then we can immolate. Uh, they're attacking for sixteen twenty five. This is full block. Yep. All right, not bad. Good, good second turn. Bad first turn. Good second turn. Nobody's attacking me. It sucks. Let's play discovery. Uh, another field no pain. Happy to see that. And then I just we just bite this guy a few times. Suck it, you've been bitten. This guy can kill me with his full attack or his big giant beam. I'd love to keep my I can't. I was gonna say I'd love to keep my uh Um what do you call it? My helix for his big attack, but I don't think I can here. What did he take? Battle trance. Interesting. Maybe we can we got a block for 24, that's enough. That's not enough though. Oh yeah, it is. Uh, with body slam it's enough. Although, man, I'd really like to kill this guy and body slam this guy. What are you gonna do though? Um, I can't draw, otherwise I would keep playing. So I'll just uh, get a few more hit points. Uh, this is good though. We have our helix for his big attack, and we could try to get like an anchor thingy down. I think we start with discovery. Um, do I want to berserk? I kind of do. We are doing very zero damage, so <laughs> that's something to note. We are doing currently zero, zero, zero damage. Uh, next turn he's attacking. We get these cards. I guess that's fine. 87 he's doing to me. <laughs> Why is he doing 87 to me? His strength buff, I guess. Well, we get a little bit of strength with uh, spot weakness. We can headbutt back. Uh, do I get card draw? No card draw this turn. What should we head? What should we head by back? I guess our emulate does the most damage. Or pommel strike. Um, this blocks. I guess we just bite. God damn it! I keep forgetting about pen nib. All right, we got two turns to kill him. Uh, pommel strike. Emulate. Head but back the pommel strike. We can burning pack the thunderclap. Pommel strike. 
fight. Okay, we're getting ooh stone calendar coming up big, clutch stone calendar. And we gotta win. Shrug it off. Shrug it off. Power through. Defend. Body slam. Let's bite first. Nummy. All right, not bad, not bad at all. 71 gold and elixir and impervious demon form brutality. Demon form is scaling strength. It's kind of expensive though, but it's not expensive because we have snuck a while. Impervious is really good too. Um, I think I'll take the scaling strength though. Empty cage, slavers, collars, black star. I was unhappy. I'm pretty unhappy to see these. Like we need energy. <laughs> I needed an energy relic. I think this might actually destroy our run. Uh, Sneko is kind of an energy relic, but not really. I need an energy relic bad. Uh, I guess we take Slaver's Collar. It's the best one here. Empty Cage is fine, but yeah, I think it's Slaver's Collar. So at least we get a little extra, an extra energy during boss and elite fights. We do have a decent amount of chunk of change burning a hole in our pocket. We need to go this way. Uh, I think I go this way. This looks fun. Let's do this. Hey, remember when we beat two of these? Let's see if we can beat one. Demon form's free. Woohoo! Uh, we already have full block. That's good. Yeah, turn one vulnerable emulate. It's really good. This bag of marbles emulate. Pretty good. In case you didn't know. Feel no pain's free. Uh, I get full block here, so I don't need to do anything. I guess I can just second wind. Yeah, the only card I really need is my, the card that, what is it when you draw? You draw when you, uh, not you draw, but um, whenever you exhaust a card, you draw. That's what I need. I need to start setting up that, too. Uh, do I want a drop kick? Nah. I don't think I want a drop kick. All right, let's see what this event is. Upgrade a card in your deck. Obtain a special relic that we can upgrade. And it upgrades a random card, but we get a pain in our deck. We get six hit points. Pain says you lose one hit point whenever you play another card. I don't really have a way. If I had a way to exhaust that, I would take it. Like if I had a blue candle or something. But no, we're just going to upgrade. I think this is an entrench upgrade. Or feel no pain. Feel no pain might be better. Because we're never really playing entrench until it's corrupted. So yeah, feel no pain. Turn one immolate would be nice. Hey, look what we got. Turn one immolate. Um, does that just kill them all? I think it does. So let's try to set up pay. Let's try. Oh, I can't set up this. <laughs> I was gonna say let's set up a uh, pendant, but I have no attacks in my hand except for a bite. Uh, this is free. Uh, I guess I just emulate and then cleave. Well, let's bite it just because we can. Nineteen gold and nothing else. We really need the card draw. What is it? Uh, what's the card when you? Uh, we have smiling mask. We don't have the other one. No, no, go back. I didn't find it. Whatever it was, I didn't find it. Uh, the card is um, pfft, I can't think of it. Dark embrace. Dark embrace. Ooh, there's a lizard tail here. That lets us uh, not die. There's a spoon. Does spoon do anything? Um, no, spoon actually works against us, doesn't it? Well, no, it does it. Well, okay, do they exhaust? Yeah, cards which exhaust when played will instead discard previous end of time. No, so we don't want, yeah, we want things to exhaust, so that works against us. Uh, card remove is good. Where's the next shop? Is there another one up here? There's one way up here. We have enough for this. I guess we, well, yeah, let's do this. Let's, uh, let's get rid of another bite. Uh, actually, let's get rid of Thunderclap at this point. And then I'm going to buy the Lizard Tail. And I think we, if by the time we get to the next shop, we should have enough money where we can... Um, we could buy a Dark Embrace if it's around. Uh, look, this is an excellent hand. <laughs> I actually don't need this good of a hand right now. This Elixir, this elixir might actually come in handy, too. Um... Yeah, I did not need this good of a hand, like this fight. This is a hard fight, but it's not that hard of a fight. Good lord. 
Ghostly armor is okay. Uh, it's 10 block and it's ethereal, so I think I'll take it. Uh, I think we're in pretty good shape for elites. Do I want two upgrade? I want card rewards, so I want to find Dark Embrace. So, yeah, let's take on some elites. Hey, it's this guy. Uh, I'm not actually very good against this guy. I'm okay, but I'm not great. Um... So pommel strike to draw some bite, bite. This doesn't exhaust, so it's fine here. And then it's either 117 points of damage or 37. I got the 117. It was a pen nibbed attack, which is nice. Uh, Field of Paints, Coup, Discovery giving us Spot Weakness or Sever Soul? Hmm. Take a Mild Strike, too. Or Wild Strike. Uh, I don't really want any of these, honestly. I guess this is going to exhaust. Really could use the Body Slam there. Uh, maybe we can get this hide up where a body slam actually helps us. Uh, there's demon form, costing three, of course. I will have to play corruption at this point. I can true get back, true get this. I'm gonna burning pack this. Uh, there's a body slam, excellent. Uh, we can't draw off that, but that's okay. And then we get a good body slam for 112. Then we get to retain most of this block for this turn. And we get another really good hand. Uh, spot weakness is free. Discovery gives us a free demon form, I guess. Defend is good. Uh, entrench, pommel strike. Yeah. So entrench, pommel strike to draw. Power through. I should have powered through first, I guess. Bite for 17. Bite for 18. So we got lots of block. Uh, we retain a bunch of that block. And we have uh, scaling strength, so I think we're okay here. This is a really good second win. We're not doing as much damage as I would like, though. Uh, our body slam should take care of that, though. Body slam just wins, right? Yeah, another demon form for free. Woohoo! And body slam. Cool. Good fight. Uh, ginger means we can't become weakened anymore. And pommel strike or shrug. I'll take a shrug. It goes away, draws cards. All right, you son of a bitch. I hate this guy. Uh, we get corruption down. So we're going to try to get a really high uh, block again. That's our goal, anyways. Um, not the best turn one, is it? I guess we just draw looking for something. I just need a few block. I, I have to use Entrench here, I think, unfortunately. Because this doesn't let me draw anymore. So, yeah, I guess Entrench doesn't go away. Um, I'm going to Body Slam here. It might be bad, but he's doing 27 now. I think I'll take him one more shot. Ah, that's better. Woof. He could have gave us a Curse, which would have sucked. Okay, uh, this is good. Shrug, shrug, defend, 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 discovery, uh, bludgeon, I guess. Immolate, bludgeon, headbutt. Hey, good fight. 18 gold and another true grit. Sure, don't mind if I do. Uh, should we recall here? What else would we do? We could upgrade. Demon form. <laughs> uh, let's just get our recall on the way. We might be have a better upgrade. Like if we get a, if we do get a dark embrace, we want to upgrade that. Uh, we need our key. Ooh, there's the courier. We needed that earlier. Um, all right. This guy, a. Eh? Hmm. Okay. I want feel no pain down because it's feel no pain. Can't spot weakness. I can shrug. This is one point where I wish I could entrench. 
Do I want a second wind here? Let's see, what do we get rid of? We get rid of spot weakness, entrench. No, no, that's fine. We need to get corruption down first. Puts a lot of burns in our deck. He's mean to us. Demon form still costs three. Is it worth it still? I could headbutt back something. I could headbutt back the second wind. Uh, I don't know. Um, I guess scaling's worth it. If we get a full block, it's something. Let's headbutt back a shrug just in case. Uh, yeah, that's fine. We have to remember we we always have our Felix or Helix too. So I'm trying to use it on a turn like this though, where I'm pretty sure I can't do anything. I can't get enough block <laughs> with bad turns. So we'll use our Helix here. Um, I'm gonna play Discovery though. Yeah, two emulates are better than one. Two ammo lights are better than one. Putting burn in your hands. There's corruption. I was waiting all over for you. Uh, okay, cool. We should be able to get plenty of block here. God, I wish I had a... Uh, what do you call it? Um, wish I had a Dark Embrace. I could, Dark Embrace makes this deck go. Like, we pretty much win well with Dark Embrace. Uh, what an excellent hand. Oh, and he has a Body Slam to make this perfect. I said all we need is a Body Slam to make this perfect. No Body Slam, but we might be able to kill just by doing five one-point damages this turn. A little bit of block, a little bit of block, a lot of bit of block. Uh, one damage. The biggest one point body slam you're ever going to see. Caliber's coming up big actually this game, isn't it? Blood Vial. Notably, if we had this when we had the Vampire event, we wouldn't have lost 27 max H points. We would just got, uh, we would have just got good stuff. Exhume is probably good. I can exhume things. Exhuming things is always fun. Burning Elite coming up. <clears throat> All right, this guy gives me a turn to uh, get rolling at least. So I think I'll get as much block as I can. Um, so we can retain a bunch of it. Yeah, we get to retain a bunch of block here because he does hit hard. Like he's hitting for 30 here, 18 plus the constriction. Uh, anything I need to exhume? Did we use Entrench yet? No, those are all in the discard pile. Do I not have Corruption played? I do not. Okay, well, uh, Bash, Strike, Immolate. Retain a bunch still. Body Slam's too expensive. I don't have Corruption. I do have, I don't have Feel No Pain. I don't have anything down, yikes. See if we can draw some. Demon form? <laughs> Not really what I wanted. I guess second winning here is fine. It's not great, but it's fine. Because I think we're getting... We're getting... Uh, I'm not getting anything, never mind. Oh, there's our body slam. <laughs> See, I think we're getting a body slam. We got it right there. And of course, that was our pendant attack. Damn it. Um, we're already Sneckoed, so this is just draw five. Elixir's really good too, though. Uh, I think this is probably better, though. Another body slam? Sure. Okay. Um, fight a boss act, act one, obtain a rare relic, upgrade all your cards, you can no longer heal. That's probably not good for us. Uh, yeah. Act what boss it is, and it's Slime Boss. Let's see if we can make Slime Boss eat his face. Uh, Immolator Demon Form. It's probably Demon Form. Start scaling our strength here. Uh, well, maybe not. We do a lot of damage here. Yeah. Uh, 
I don't really want to do any damage to him this turn, though. Hey, there's corruption. I was really hoping to get the corruption there. Hey, a body slam to boot. So I think we just win. All we do is win, 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 win. I can't draw anymore. Damn. That's okay. We get to entrench body slam, body slam. Yeah, slam boss is easier when you're big ahead. Prayer wheel's a little bit late. Double tap? Nah, I'm good with this. All right. This is probably Repto. No, it's Giant Head Plus, which we had actually we actually had some problems with Giant Head last time. But if we get enough block, we should be okay. Um, not a very good start, honestly. Uh, these are pretty bad. I'm going to immolate. Uh, I don't really want head, but I guess we could just body slam. This isn't great. Let's Burning Pact, actually, to draw two. Get Discovery. That gives us uh, Bloodletting. No, we don't want to lose three hit points. Uh, do I want to headbutt back anything? Discovery. All right, we need our good cards, please. We need Corruption. We need, uh, we got full block. We need Feel No Pain. Good job. We got Feel No Pain. Discovery Battle Trance is fine. Could draw a little bit. There's our demon form, unfortunately. All right. Things are still not looking great, but we're getting there. We need to get a critical mass of Corrupted. It's at the end, of course. Let's see if we can draw it. I don't want to draw it now with a Battle Trance that costs three. Uh, do I Sneckle here? I draw five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if we draw corruption or pommel, we should be okay. Uh, let's play our spot weakness first to get out of the hand. There we go. All right, now we should be okay. I think we have enough. Well, let's find out. Yep, that's a decent block. 178. I used Entrench though, right? I did use Entrench, but I did not use uh, Exhum, which we can get it back. All right, so this should be okay. Discovery brings out Fiendfire. If I had a draw, I would use it. I'll take Bludgeon, because we're going to get a big Bludgeon off here. And Body Slam. If we just win. All we do is win, 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 win. Battle Trance. Shrug it off. We're full HP. Uh, this is our pen nib attack. So we could body slam for 1,328. <laughs> uh, I'm actually going to move body slam around a little bit. Um, we want to move our pen nib up. So I'll just body slam for 774. Pocket watch, if we only play three or less cards, we draw three additional cards to start of our next turn. We get our last key, a dex pot, and a second in trench. Okay. I don't know if that's the best thing. You don't want to just draw in trenches. Uh, do I want all my enemies to start with week one? It's good because it strips artifacts, but I'm not really doing artifacts, so I'll just keep my money. And we get to smith something, probably the entrench, just in case we have to play it early. Burning Pact's also really good. Maybe it's Burning Pact. Yeah, this might be Burning Pact. Time Eater's up first. We gotta, we're gotta. we just going to look for the critical block with the uh, entrenches and all that jazz to go with it. He's attacking for 24 to start with. Uh, trigger it back that. Um, let's see, this is 10, that's 29, that's 58. 58 minus 24 uh, is 34, 44. 24 minus 15 is 9. Yeah. 
I don't have second wind yet. Hmm. I think getting a good attack on, getting an 84 damage down is worth it. And we get to retain a little bit of this block. Not a lot, but a little bit. Corruption demon form makes me happy. Metallicize? Sure. At the end of our turn, we get like extra stuff. Um, I'm going to do this just... Well, it gives me some little bit of block, but also brings them around here. We do need a bunch of draws in a row here to get things rolling. Um, I can exhume, uh, shrug it off, I guess. Let's just see what we draw. There's our feel no pain. Uh, entrench, is entrench in here? It is not. Guess I'm exhuming my second win, hoping I can play it. I can. Uh, the problem with this is we're losing all our block too quick. Uh, we need to retain it more. We only get to play eight cards here. So shrug, burning pack, the bash. There's no trench. Okay, that helps a lot. Ten. 11, 12. Now I get to retain most of this and add to it, and then body slam. Uh, actually, he's this is a free turn. He's not doing anything, and he's going to proc. So we get to get our block up even more. Not much, unfortunately. Ooh, actually, we can kill this turn. Right? Yeah. We use our pen nib. So do I want to is the real question. I don't think I want to. I want my pendant to go around again. Um, yeah, see if we immolate body slam, that kills him, but that uses our pendant attack. So I think I just body slam and try to move our pendant around. Or we could just immolate, move our pen, because we got enough block, we're gonna draw a body slam. Like we have four cards. Uh, wait, where is our... Oh, there's our body slams. <laughs> yeah, let's just do it the hard way. We got lots of block. Um, he can't get through the block, right? Wait, is he... Is he buffing now? Is he going back to half now? Yeah, he did. Okay, I screwed that up a little bit. That's okay. Uh, we still get to do what we wanted to do, which basically just means that we get to move our our uh, pen nib around a little bit. So I want to kill him when the pen nib is on like four or something, right? Uh, that's too much damage. <laughs> Wait one more turn. Yeah, wait one. We'll wait. We'll wait one more. See if we can get a couple more pendants down. Pommel strike is one. Immolate is two. Does that kill him? No. And then three. Perfect. Moved our pendant to nine, so we get to do double damage on our next attack. And we're fighting Dodo Deco. Dodo Deco is tough. Um, we get an early corruption. It costs a crap ton, but that's okay, because we'll be able to play, play field no paid and kind of go off a bit here. Um, tempted to use my dex pot. I don't think I will though. Well, maybe I should. We don't have a lot of block here. Um, uh, yeah, we're probably gonna draw something else. Um, let's burning pack to weigh the bite. Looking for more block. Shrug it off. Defend. Discovery getting, I guess, war cry just because it exhausts. Uh, put body slam back on top. I want to true grit a bite. Oh man, I want to true grit a headbutt. 
and I want to entrench to 200. Body Slam almost kills this guy this turn. Oh, it does with uh, Pen Nip. <laughs> oh my word, this is this is a good. This is the way we need every fight to go from this way forward. Um, entrench to 500. Body Slam to kill him. <laughs> uh, I guess I I can't second wind away that, so I'll just strip an artifact. And then we just win. Because all we do is win. Uh, let's move our pen nip around again. What should we exhume? Discovery, see if we can find something fun. Uh, we didn't find anything fun. That's too bad. Trying to get my pen nib up again. Four hundred and twenty-two block kicks, but this is what we use second wind for. One more block, one, one more attack. So bite, body slam for 414. Perfect fights at the end there. Uh, that was the perfect draw actually. Corruption, dark embrace with a bunch of uh, with a bunch of stuff is great. We did 2,646 2, damage. Have we been here before? We we get jolted awake. We do stuff. We're going for the gold. Our deck is okay. If it had a dark embrace, it would be amazing. Uh, I guess we're smithing something. What should we smith? Entrench, exhume, demon form. Uh, I guess exhume, maybe? Entrench? Uh, I don't know. Demon form? Uh, yeah, let's do demon form. Fuck it. All right, so we're looking for dark embrace here, please. Dark embrace! Give me dark embrace! No dark embrace. We do have pellets, which is interesting. We have pellets, card drawer, card removal. Oh, we can't do all of it. Actually, I can't even pellets and card draw. That would be, what, 41? I need 51. I, it's cost 56. Yeah. Battle Trance is good. It helps me draw cards, but it doesn't let me kind of go off. Card draw could. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Bloodletting is good too, but it kind of screws up our our what do you call it? Um, our uh, this thing, Felix, Felix, Felix. Our Felix. It screws up our Felix. Uh, so orange pellets we can do by playing a power and attack and a uh, that might be pretty good actually. Yeah, because it gets rid of frail. Can we become frail? What do we have for the frailty stuff? Um, we have the one that can't make us weak, right? Yeah, we have ginger, but we don't have... Okay, I think I'll take pelts. It means I can't do anything else. I can't get a pot, which I was hoping to get a pot, but uh, that's okay. All right, we get extra energy here. We get an early immolate, but we don't get anything else that we need. Um, that's okay. The early immolate helps. And we get to defend, defend. I guess I battle trance, looking for something cheap. I guess I could true grit my bash. I give a body slam, another body slam. All right, so decent damage, full block. He puts two burns on top. This is the turn that's gonna hurt if it, if a turn's gonna hurt. Uh, looks like it's gonna go okay though. Not great, but okay. Let's draw for free. Feel no pain's excellent. Uh, we want to try to block as much as we can. What's that mean? Uh, power through entrench. Entrench is too expensive. Damn. Well, we're definitely taking damage here. The question is how much damage. This blocks for 25, and we're at 31. Uh, if I entrench twice with dupe pot, that puts us at 64. 
and then we full block but we use our dupe pot which we could really use against the heart too Uh, power through, okay, so this gives 32, this gives 25, making it, 25 is 41, so we take 21, so we take 20 here, if we take this, and then we don't use our dupe pot, uh, I think that's fine, wait, do I feel no pain down, I do, uh, that's okay, No, I, we took 30, not 20. Corruption, thank you. All right, we need to draw lots of cards and we need to draw lots of block. Let's not block, more block please. Shockwave or Burning Pack? Burning Pack lets me draw, Shockwave makes him weak and, or makes him vulnerable. Uh, Burning Pack to try to draw, Burning Pack to weigh the bite, draw two defenses, there's a shrug, there's another defend. I need to entrench here, unfortunately. Second one gives us a little bit more. I should bite to turn around, probably. Okay, now I think we're good. As long as we draw a body slam in the next few turns, then we can play. Uh, well, there goes that. <laughs> Nobody's doing anything this turn, though. So we can exhume our entrench and headbutt back nothing. And then we still just need a body slam. We should bite up, too, if we can, right? Bite says we heal a little bit, so let's try to kill one, and then we'll start biting a little bit. Nom, 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 nom. So that says body slam you to kill you. This says bite to heal up. I forgot we have bites. We can always... Uh, we don't want to kill him, though. Actually, we're going to kill him before we... <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna end up killing him, um, because our strength is scaling. No, we didn't play demon form yet, so our strength is not scaling, right? Right. Okay. Cool. Uh, so we just keep doing this stuff. Mm, I actually don't want a strength. This is where we need to be against the heart. Three hundred block, <laughs> and some bites. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. How many more bites I got? One more. Uh, we can keep biting, right? What's he gonna do? Nom 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 nom. Might as well bite up to full. Oh no, stone calendar! Oh, that's okay, he had block. Whew. So I just can't attack him until he's got lots of block. Otherwise we kill him. Now eh, we can get one more bite off. Don't wanna play spot weakness, just wanna play bites. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. All right, we're full. Now you die. Pachow. Okay, we saved our dupe pot. We have a skill that we start with, and I don't want any of that. What skill would I want to start with? Burning Pact? Battle Trance? Shrug it off? I guess Battle Trance in case we get really, really bad draws. All right, Mr. Height, heart, heart, Mr. Height, let's do this. All right, we start with our feel no pain. That's good. Um, we perfectly set up our pen nib accidentally. All we need really is a good old corruption to make this get going. Um, we do get to play feel no pain first. Get to play discovery. Uh, uh, this does do something. Uh, I'm going to burning pack away my bash. I guess this is where we ghostly armor. I don't want to draw corruption now, not be able to play it. So I'll just entrench. I'm going to keep a little bit for next turn. I'll bite you. Nom, 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 nom. I'm going to keep you 11 block. Is this his big attack or his little attack? This is little attack, so we need lots of block here. This is, and uh, we got a void, yay! Ugh. Okay, we can headbutt back the entrench though, right? Yeah, so let's power through, headbutt. The entrench has to be free, was it free? Yes, 
Cool. That's a good block. That's full block. We get to retain a little bit. We got to go off here pretty soon, though. This is one we're going to use our... We're, oh, we don't even need any block here, then. Um, I don't want to draw, because I don't want to draw corruption right now. So it doesn't really matter what I do here. I'll just uh, strike. Because uh, this, this is our helix. There's corruption. Um, with zero block in my hand. God damn it. Uh, so I've already used my helix, so this doesn't matter. So let's just play corruption first. And then this gives more block. And we just get to body slam, body slam, bite. We have to keep a little bit of block. We need to start drawing lots and lots of block, though. More block, please. More block, please. Uh, uppercut's kind of useless. I need to draw in trench. Like now, please. Mm, the block isn't getting up fast enough. Mm, yeah, we might be a little bit screwed here. I need entrench, please. Do we have an entrench still? We have both of them and exhum. We're just not drying them when we need them. We need them here. Uh, give me entrench, please. Well, let me see. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Entrench. God damn it. Uh, I don't know if we can win now. We needed a really good block, and then we needed to get to entrench to get high enough. Uh, I can headbutt back something. I guess our strength is scaling, so that helps. So let's headbutt back the uppercut, and then we will body slam for 148, and bite. And we do take damage here, which means we can no longer go off with our uh, block plan. So we just got to kill him before he kills us. Um, yeah, our block is gone. There's a ghostly armor to defend. So if I draw two, I draw those, and then I can entrench, entrench, exhum, entrench. I just don't think that's enough, though. Let's find out. Ghostly armor, defend. This does, this brings it to... I mean, what else am I going to do, right? All right, it's as good as it's going to get. Uh, we got a shot. We're at full health. Uh, we got scaling strength. He's at 150. We still got 149 block. I think we got him, honestly. Let's see if we can get to full health, too. Uh, another feel no pain. That's awesome. Yeah, I think we got a good deck. That was fun. And we finished it off with a body slam. Although I'd really like to uh, be at full health. Let's see if we can get full health. Yeah, full health. You couldn't even hurt me, heart. Suck it. Uh, what a fun deck. That was cool. Uh, good job, Mr. Ironclad doing things by cutting hearts in half and climbing up stairs that with feet on fire I don't really understand that part never really understood that part and then the I understand the tower being on fire but and I understand you putting it on fire but why are you on fire I just didn't understand that part victory uh, we are heartbreakers suck it we got to ascension 20 we had mad money um, we are beyond perfect we defeated three bosses without taking any damage and we slayed seven uh, that's a good score 34 96 is a really good score actually 34 96 is probably close to one of my high scores I wonder what my high score is does it tell me now what the slot spire sleeps and so shall I uh, let's look at our, that let's look at that uh, score 3308 what was my last one uh, run history 3308 wait so is that my high score then 
I don't know. Um, so what made this deck? Well, we did the Calling Bell thing, and then we got the Bag of Prep, the Helix. That saved us a lot. Of, Bag of Prep is just one of the best relics in the game. Getting two additional cards. I mean, that's like the silent starting relic, but better. And then Helix saved us a lot of hit points. We got the Mob Bank, so we were able to afford a bunch of decent cards when we went through. I was amazed that Calibers... It was basically the Caliber run, right? Calipers... We didn't get Blockade, so Calipers just made the run for us. We beat everybody with Body Slams and Corruptions. Uh, no Dark Embrace, but I didn't... Uh, we actually got through this game with no Dark Embrace, which is fun. Oh, I should have... Saw, oh, it did tell us. Cool. So let's take a look at Sneko. I'm surprised that Sneko is so... Well, I guess it's kind of lopsided, isn't it? Like, it didn't give us a lot of one energy. It gave us a lot more two and three energies than one energy. So if we cancel out the zero and three, those basically cancel out. And the one and two, it's like plus 30 for two energies. But still, it was an average discount of point, almost 0.4. Uh, so yeah, Sneko's definitely useful. Um, I didn't even use pellets. I don't, or I think I did, but I didn't mean to. Uh, pen nib. Good. I honestly use the immolate too. The early immolate that saved us a lot of hit points. And then after that, it was just uh, yeah. So bag of prep, Felix, Helix, <laughs> calipers, and immolate. I think kind of made this deck. And that was really fun. Um, I haven't won uh, with that kind of deck in a while. Or boss. I haven't won with the boss swap yet. So that was our first boss swap run. We'll be back tomorrow to silent to change out his thing and maybe get a bag of prep for him or. Be, because that would be better than his oh bag of preps uncommon we can't get that yeah well anyways thanks for watching be back tomorrow see ya